Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. Today from men only, 2% of clubs are full of women. Why men will never go to clubs again. Please like, comment, subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. See that chow. It's chow time. Where are the single men at in Atlanta that are not absolutely unhinged? Atlanta nightlife right now is not the same. Stop it. Especially clubs. Oh, one of no. the biggest clubs, one of my favorites in Atlanta, it just closed down. Fellas, welcome back to the channel. All right, today we're diving into something that's been causing a lot of buzz lately. Why men are done with the club scene. You heard that right. It's not just a phase. More and more guys are saying no thanks to nights out. And with stats showing that up to 90% of clubgoers are now women, it's starting to look like a serious shift is happening. So, why are men walking away from the dance floors? Is it just the vibe, the cost, or something deeper? We're about to break it all down. And trust me, some of these reasons will surprise you. Let's get into it. No one is angrier at a woman with standards and boundaries than a man who can't meet them. Naturally. And from what I've heard, some of those women's standards are based in definitely an alternate reality. I wish you guys took all the energy you spend begging women to lower their standards for you and did anything else with it. Anything else, really. Well, a person should always be careful what they wish for because one just might get it. And a lot of those men that one seems to be complaining about in regards to not being able to meet those very realistic standards that many women have set forth might just decide that it's best just to avoid women altogether. And then what would a lot of individuals have to make videos about? Ooh. I am not attracted to a man that is going to send me a Venmo request for half of a dinner bill. Noted. And on the contrary, nothing turns me on more than when the man I'm dating takes me out on a date he plans, picks up the tab as soon as the waiter drops it on the table, and then tips 20% on top of the total. That shit got me like, let's get out of here immediately. Let's get out sure. of here before I bang you your brains out in this whore. restaurant. Oh, huh. How very charming. Who said class doesn't exist anymore? Here's the reality, and it's time for some hard truths. No one is more deceitful than a woman suggesting they'd bang a man's brains out for paying for her dinner and tipping 20%. Yep. Women who set their standards purely based on a man's wallet are living in a fantasy world. One where they think offering nothing but a pretty face is enough to deserve everything in return. But what they're really doing is setting themselves up for a life of loneliness. It's almost laughable when a woman suggests she's going to reward a man's generosity with intimacy as if paying for her dinner and tipping 20% somehow earns her affection. This isn't a genuine connection. It's transactional and it's shallow. It's like these women have turned dating into a barter system. You pay for this and maybe, just maybe, I'll give you the time of day, but that's not a relationship, that's a business deal. What's even worse Prostitute. is that they have nothing to offer in return. When you strip away the superficiality, no emotional support, no respect, no understanding of what a man needs. What's left? Men aren't blind to this anymore. Men see the game for what it is, and they're not willing to participate. Women push men's boundaries all the time, disrespect them, and then have the audacity to gaslight men when things don't go their way. They'll play the victim, twist the narrative, and try to make men feel guilty for not living up to their unreasonable expectations. But here's the harsh truth. Men are done with this nonsense. Men have learned to protect their peace, and they're no longer subjecting themselves to these one-sided, high-maintenance relationships. Let's be clear. Any woman who's built her standards around how much money a man spends is completely missing the point of a relationship. Of course. And men are smartening up to this. We aren't interested in women who can't bring anything substantial to the table. We aren't going to invest our time, money, or energy into someone who doesn't respect us, our boundaries, or our feelings. These women who think they deserve the world without offering anything in return are setting themselves up for a rude awakening. They're free to live alone, to keep their high and unreasonable standards, but the reality is they'll continue to wonder why no man sticks around. Most women today don't respect men, plain and simple. They won't lower themselves to even try to understand a man's feelings or his... You know, I get the comment down below that respect is earned, respect is earned. How do you earn respect, in a sense, if you just meet someone? You have to show some level of dis respect in the first place. And then they can earn more respect or earn less respect. But there should be a base level respect that everybody deserves, at least. That's the problem I have that a lot of people seem to go, Oh, you have to earn respect. 
Sometimes you just meet someone. How do they earn your respect? Are you, are you going to disrespect them as soon as you meet them? No. You still show some decorum and some respect. His needs. They live in a world <laughs> where they believe men exist purely to cater to their desires. But guess what? Men aren't playing that game anymore. The majority of men are done trying to meet the impossible standards set by women who bring nothing but drama and entitlement. And it's no surprise that a lot of men have completely given up on relationships with women. A lot of pretty girls will never get married. They'll have a lot of boyfriends throughout their entire life, but they'll never get a husband. Do you know why? Because they're not respectful. Oof. And if you're thinking, oh, if they're not respectful, how do they even get boyfriends? Well, boyfriends are only there for one thing. They get it and then they go. Whereas a husband wants a respectful wife. So if you're single and you're the prettiest girl you know and you think every other girl is ugly and yet these ugly girls are getting married and you're not, chances are those ugly girls are respectful and you're not. Woo! Here's the thing. Looks can only get you so far in life and in relationships. Sure, a man might be initially attracted to a beautiful woman, but once he sees that she doesn't respect him, doesn't appreciate him, and treats him like he's disposable, he's going to lose interest fast. A lot of these women can't keep a man, and instead of taking responsibility for their behavior, they run to social media to complain and blame men for everything. But here's the harsh reality. It's not the men, it's them. They've had multiple boyfriends, sure, but the pattern is always the same. They can't hold on to any of them because they don't offer anything beyond surface-level beauty. No respect, no loyalty, no effort. These men are smart. They see through the games, and that's why they hit it and quit it. It's not because men are scared of commitment. It's because these women aren't worth committing to. Meanwhile, let's talk about the women who might not be society's idea of perfect. These so-called ugly women? They're the ones getting wifed up because yep. they actually know how to treat a man with respect. They understand the real game. A man doesn't need constant drama, disrespect, or attitude. He needs peace, appreciation, and someone who actually values him. These women might not be winning beauty pageants, but they're winning in relationships because they bring more to the table they're winning in life. than just their appearance. And let's be honest, men are waking up to this. They're tired of the disrespectful attitude from women who think their looks give them a free pass to treat men like they're replaceable. It's not just about being pretty anymore. It's about being a decent human being. Men have options, and they're really going to ask you for being a good human being, just be somewhat decent. Realizing that the so called beautiful women who have nothing but disrespect to offer are not worth their time. Here's the thing the Atlanta club scene, and really club culture in general, has turned into an adult show and tell, where 90% of the women are more interested in ignoring men and putting on a performance for each other. Yep. And uh, getting free drinks. It's almost like straight clubs have become places where women dance and flirt with each other, while men are left on the sidelines wondering what the point even is. The worst part is the rude and nasty attitudes yep. many of these women bring. They act like they're too good to engage with men, even though they're in places where social interaction is the whole point. This attitude has pushed men over the edge. Why would any man want to spend his night being ignored or treated poorly by women who are just there to get attention and validation from each other? Men are fed up with the entitlement, the disrespect, and the games. It's no wonder more men are walking away from the club scene entirely. They see I was never even a part of it. Even when I was younger, I went, I went to like one club. And I think it was a club in Mexico. It was uh, Papas and Beers. Got super drunk for the first time. Worst experience ever right through it. It's no longer about genuine connection or even a fun night out. It's all about showing off, getting validation, and being rude to anyone who doesn't fit the fantasy. If women in these clubs actually cared about meeting men or having meaningful interactions, they'd stop with the games and the attitude. But until then, men are moving on from this nonsense. It's just not worth the time or effort anymore. It isn't. Hey y'all, I'm going to do a story time with Dating in Atlanta. As you guys know, I am a newly single woman. I have been single since last year, September, coming out of a relationship for four years. And I found out he was a narcissist, but that's another story. I He's have, always a narcissist. I've been going on dates here in Atlanta. And when I tell you guys, it is so creepy out here in this dating scene. Let me start off with the first guy I started dating. 
We had went on a couple of dates with each other. The vibe was there. We're texting. I met him at a chicken wing place I was walking out of. Come to find out, this man was in a whole relationship. And he told me that his girlfriend was okay with him seeing other women because she realized one woman could not be enough for him. Now, as you guys know, I am not sharing my man. We had never slept together. We were vibing. The lust was there. And I love that he was such a great entrepreneur. But I'm not finna date another a man that another woman is already accounted for. Okay. This is then you want me to give you all this time, not talk to nobody else, but you already have a girlfriend. And I literally, the last time I had hung out with him, once I found out he had a girlfriend, I was so turned off. I texted him a long message and told him it's not going to work because I can't date somebody that's already accounted for. When I tell you guys, he was so pissed and he was like, you know, I thought we were vibing. You're sitting here worried about another woman, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So that was number one. Number two, I so met a, a guy Chad, at a kid park with my daughter and he was there with oh, his kids. Single mom. So of course he got kids. I know you got a, a girlfriend. I'm not a girlfriend, a baby mother or an ex-wife. I don't ask that. Cause I'm like, you know what? We're going to meet. We go out to eat first date. He tells me he's married. And that his wife is allowing him to have an open relationship with her. Where she sounds like a Chad type. He can date other women and he can date other women. <laughs> but she doesn't want to date other men. What sense does that make? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm eating. But that didn't even make sense to me. He we we I didn't say shit while we were on the date because I wanted to get my food paid for and I didn't have to pay for my food. Wasn't into the date. Already pretty much discounted the man, but wanted free food, so still went on the date, still did the thing. And I don't usually do that, but I just sure. was not in the mood Stop to pay lying, for that lunch. you whore. Because I really know you wanted do to be here in the first place. But he texted me after the date. I have not responded. And I'm going to text him today and let him know. I thought about it, but I don't want to date nobody's husband. It is scary out here, y'all. Like, I am so new to this dating scene. I don't know how y'all been going through this. Because... This made me not want to date anybody and just be celibate. These men are in relationships or they have a girlfriend. Like That's a relationship. What the fuck? My friend was like going forward. I need to ask them the first time they talk, try to talk to me. Are you in a relationship? Are you married? That needs to be the first thing I asked them. And I'm like, damn, like I would assume if they're trying to talk to me, I wouldn't have to ask that. Let's get this straight. Women keep chasing the same tall, dark, yep. and handsome type. The guys who have plenty of options and know it. These are the men who have women lining up to be with them. And honestly, they're not the ones looking to settle down or commit. They don't have to. With so many options, they're not going to be locked into one relationship when they can keep enjoying the attention and variety. The problem is, women overlook the decent guys who might not fit this perfect image. These so-called medium ugly men. Guys who might not be runway models but have solid character, are dependable, and would actually treat them well, are totally ignored. These are the men who would put in effort, be loyal, and actually value the relationship. But too many women are blinded by the fantasy of the perfect man and end up chasing after the same few guys who have no reason to settle down. Meanwhile, the men who could give them a stable, loving relationship are left standing on the sidelines. The irony is that the key to a happy, committed relationship is right in front of them, but they keep pacing the guys everyone else is chasing. If women gave the medium ugly guys a real chance, they'd probably find a lot more happiness and stability in their relationships. But as long as they're focused on the top tier guys who have no incentive- They would be, but they're not attracted to these guys, so they don't treat these guys properly and probably gonna leave these guys anyways. This is the hard part about this modern day hypergamy. It's not just money, it's looks. And looks matter so much to these women that even normal guys do not fit the looks requirement for any type of commitment. Incentive to settle down, they'll keep running into the same disappointments. Good morning. Um, I would say get ready with me, but I accidentally already got ready. So, um, <laughs> oops. But life update. I don't even remember the last time we did one of these. It's definitely been a hot fucking minute. But, um, I was probably still... No, I, I was doing better the last time we did one of these, right? Well, I'm still doing better. So, I... 
I guess you could say I've been talking to someone new. Um, it's complicated though. I don't want to be like, what are we? But like, what are we, shoddy? No, but like seriously, um, it's been really good. I guess you could say. Sorry, Lola distracts me because she's just chaotic. Um, but yeah, went on a date. It went so good and i do actually like really like this person but you can't be like what are we after one day um and it is also complicated and i'm not going to be able to have a second date with him for a hot minute so that's fucking great um but i don't want to get into that too much i want to keep that off the internet and just see where it goes before i talk about it too much because i don't want to get my hopes up and then look like a fucking moron um but no i think it's a little too late really nice guy um do like him a lot like a lot a lot which i didn't think was actually possible again but it's crazy because i went from someone telling me my expectations would never be met or i'm unreasonable or there's just i'm too they aren't wrong because it hasn't been met yet you just met a guy but i don't think he's committing to you much to deal with what i want is unrealistic and then someone just comes along and checks every single box without even, like, breaking a sweat over it. Like, they just do it naturally. And I'm like, oh, I really wasn't as bad as you made it seem. Or, like, I don't know, maybe I am bad. <laughs> they just don't say anything. No, I'm kidding. But really, really happy. I'm excited to see where that goes. Um, but like I said, it's going to be a hot minute till there's any update on that. Because it is kind of a, forgive my dog. A complicated situation. Um, exactly. That's fine. That's, that's why fine. you're not getting what you're getting, girl. It's complicated. And I'd rather wait around for the right person than do anything else. I not even like I was looking for a man. Like I literally was not talking to a single guy except this person. And I just I don't know. I don't know. Something about me was like talk to him, to it. And I'm glad I did. But yeah, super super sweet guy. Um, really like him excited to see how that goes and where that goes um my birthday is in less than a month so that's kind of exciting i'm getting like old as fuck and that freaks me out a little bit because i'm like what the hell is going on with my life i have no clue what is going on work has been the same um lola has been the same she lost her woman her woman uh, yeah, 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 yeah. she lost her womanhood um about a month ago but she's pretty healed from that she goes to work with me a lot. Yeah, don't you? We still go to work, and you still pay the bills. Yeah, you got to. She did pee the bed the other night, yeah, with me in it. She peed on me. I was not sure which one of us actually peed. I'm being so serious with you right now. <laughs> I'm front and honest. I'm, I wasn't sure, but until she came up and was, like, telling herself in my face, and I was like, oh, fuck. Glad it wasn't me, but not glad that it's 3 a.m., and I have to clean all this the fuck up. But, yes there's your life update um hopefully in a couple of weeks i can hop on here and give you another one and then slowly introduce them to my tiktok if they would ever want to be but as soon as he sees these tiktoks it's a lot of people are like get me the fuck off that tiktok and i'm like i i get it i get it it's not for everyone but my girls my girls love to hear from me so there's that oh. life update yeah, I your girls are just so important than the man you truly want I'm going to fix my hair. I don't even know what's going on. Oh, I'm also letting it grow out. Okay, short hair like the arrow is coming to an end. Okay, sorry, it's growing out. But um, I'm gonna fix my hair and then get ready for work because it's still grind away that nine to five. Ooh, ooh, get you some, yeah. <clears throat> but have a good day. I love yeah. you all. Hopefully that's the update you're looking for. It's truly disheartening to see how many women, like the ones sitting there complaining, Equate nice guys with being boring. They have a guy who checks all the boxes. He's respectful, reliable, supportive, and genuinely cares. But he's somehow not exciting enough for them. This mindset is exactly why so many of these women end up stuck in a cycle of chasing the wrong men and wondering why they're constantly hurt or disappointed. The sad truth is, they don't want the nice guy. They say they do, but their actions speak louder than words. Of course. They're always looking for that thrill that chaos that the so-called bad boys bring. And honestly, at this point, it seems like they really want the devil.
Someone who will put them through emotional roller coasters. Someone who is unattainable. Someone who doesn't give them the stability they claim. Give them the six, six, six. Claim to want. Because stability, Literally. to them, is boring. What's even worse is that nice guys are taken for granted and often get overlooked. They're seen as a safe option to fall back on when things go wrong with the bad boy. But by then, it's too late. These women don't realize that nice guys won't always be around waiting. They don't re They're starting to learn. Nice guys are mid and becoming passport bros. Realize that by dismissing the guy who genuinely cares for them, they're losing out on someone who would treat them with respect and love. But here's the harsh reality. Most of these women don't want stability. They want the excitement that comes with the drama. They want the chase, the highs and lows, and the unpredictability. And they don't see that this constant pursuit of the wrong men is what's keeping them stuck. I agree with that one woman. Respect. That is probably the reason why most of these women are single. They have no form of respect for men whatsoever. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. I really appreciate that. Thank you.